What's going on guys, Agronix here and welcome to week 6 of the PCL Season 3. Today we jump into our game against Master Yen and the South London Sylveons. Now, I am going to be very, very uh, honest with you guys. I am crazy nervous about this game. We are playing um, Champ's team, Master Yen is taking over. Uh, and Master Yen is a real alias, it's a real human being and it's totally not Champ at all. Um, so basically what's happening... We are taking on Master Yen's incredibly scary team, and in my opinion, not the best uh, league in the t uh, team in the league. Um, definitely the most threatening from an offensive perspective. Ours might be up there as well, because you know, Tapu Coco and stuff, it's cool. But I think, I mean, just look at his team. His team is the third column from the left, second from the right, with the Sylveon banner at the top. His team consists of Mega Beedrill, Victini, Tapu Bulu, Raikou, Empoleon, Porygon Z that has access to Celebrate. Or Z conversion, sorry. No, uh, thinking of, uh, I was thinking of the evolutions. Flygon, which has Dragon Dance now in this generation, which is very scary. Crab Abominable, uh, Licky Licky, Rhydon, and Miss Magius. So let's start out with the, the the first six are just so scary. He could bring the the top six and win. Um, Flygon's always scary. Crab the thing is though, Crab Abominable is not coming, so I don't have to prep first because one Champ doesn't like it, and two. Everything on my team destroys it, so I don't really have to prep for Kabamadol too much. I just need to be aware that, like, I need to know what to do against it. Uh, Licky Licky is an annoying wish passer, and we only have one Mon on my team that has fighting coverage, besides Verizion, I think. Uh, actually, a Nido King might have superpower. Uh, it does, actually. So we have we have two Mons, or three Mons, sorry, with Scizor. With three Mons, I can hit Licky Licky super effectively, which is very important. Uh, Rhydon, which is always really, really uh, unnerving. But we have the right team to take advantage of it. And then Miss Magius, a Mon that I could see coming because it outspeeds Mons like Hydreigon and Dazzling Gleam will do a ton. It outspeeds Mons, uh, or it doesn't get, uh, you know, it gets outsped by Verizion and Tapu Koko and Tornadus. But it's, I don't know, I don't know really. Um, so basically, we're bringing this squad right here. We're bringing Mega Scizor, Hydreigon, Tapu Koko, Nido King, Verizion, and Seismitoid for the first week. In the regular season, um, the Cyndaquils are not bringing Tornadus. And the reason for that is that not because Tornadus isn't good in this match, because it is. Um, the only problem that I have is that it gets really, really easily beaten by Raikou uh, and Beedrill. Because Beedrill's Poison Jab one-shots, no matter what, basically. Uh, unless I invest a ton. I think the roll is like 84 to 100%. So after Rock's damage, it's just, it's over. Um, and we're not bringing Kamala, so I have to assume that rocks will be up, you know. Uh, they might not be, but I, I'm going to assume that they're going to be up. Um, other things to keep in mind, um, Mega Beedrill outpaces everything on my team. Um, Victini is outsped by Tapu Koko. Tapu Bulu, I could see him not bringing it because it gets outsped by... Or sorry, not outsped. It gets very, very, very easily beaten by Scizor. But you can see the same for Beedrill, and I still see Beedrill coming, so... I don't know what he'll do with that. Raikou is, I think, the scariest thing for me, in in my opinion, because with the right moves, it could just destroy my team. Um, Empoleon is always annoying to kill, uh, and a man like Empoleon that does so many things as it does, it can be offensive, it can run Stealth Rock Defog, of course, it can run um, like Shookaberry, a take out a ground type, which we don't really have that problem now because we have Seismitoad. However, Empoleon does get access to Grass Knot, so we have to keep that in mind. Um, so yeah. We're gonna kick off the team. Uh, we're just gonna start. We have um, Scizor with the Scizorite Technician with Bullet Punch, U-Turn, Superpower, and Roost Max Specially Defensive. Now, what this does is it allows us to wall, wall with air quotes because it's not really, but it, it allows us to take hit, uh, hits decently well from the Raikou. Uh, Raikou does a little less than 50% guaranteed of his choice specs, uh, Timid, I believe. Um, choice specs, Timid. On a Mega Scizor. Now the reason I say he's timid and not modest is because I think he would want to outspeed Verizion. It's the only Mon that he wouldn't outspeed um, if he went modest. So I could see him doing it and just like accepting that Verizion will outspeed him. Because his team isn't crazy weak to Verizion. But I still think it could come down to it. And he could hit Verizion pretty hard with Extra Sensory or Hidden by Rice. Which even though Verizion has natural bulk on the special side, uh, Raikou still does a ton. Um... And also, a Scizor walls the Beedrill and the Tapu Koko really, really well. Uh, a Bullet Punch from Mega Scizor does about 60% to Beedrill or something like that. Something a ton like that. Um, and then Tapu Bulu takes a decent amount. Um, U-Turn's there for initiative. And Superpower is there for the Porygon uh, Z. 
uh, the Empoleon and the Licky Licky. Uh, you could also count the right on if you wanted to, um, but it, it is what it is. Um, no speed this week. There's nothing that I needed to speed creep except for the Empoleon, which sits at 60. So if he runs that much speed, I mean, he deserves to outspeed me, but then he won't really be as strong. Uh, I could run a little bit, but I'm not going to. I need as much bulk as possible. Um, I'm just there just for uh, longevity. I need Scizor to be around for a long time because it's one of my answers to basically everything on his team Scizor can possibly take on besides the Victini and the uh, Flygon with Fire Punch if he does bring that. And the Rhydon. Rhydon has Fire Punch as well, so if he brings Rhydon. But I, I don't know if he'll bring all three of them. I don't expect Rhydon and Flygon because that's two ice weaknesses and... You know, he doesn't want to have too many ice weaknesses on his team or else, you know, Needle King with Ice Beam or stuff like that. You know, he just has to be careful of that kind of stuff. Uh, by the way, if you if you aren't aware, Bronzong and Incineroar, you, if you saw the video that went up a few days ago, uh, they're new to my team, but they're not active this week. So I cannot use Incineroar and Bronzong this week. And I, I can only use Typhlosion and Yuxi, and I didn't want to bring either of them just because they didn't have a good matchup. Um... And I really wanted to bring Kamala, because it does uh, kind of wall the Empoleon. It could take on the Porygon. It could take on a special Victini to a certain extent, and Wish and stuff. Um, it's just, it it doesn't take on anything else, and I couldn't. I really couldn't. So, um, anyway, Scizor. Scizor's really good against this team. Very, very important. And so is Hydreigon, Hydra Assault Vest, will Levitate, Fire Blast, Earth Power, Draco, and Surf. Uh, running enough speed to outspeed, I believe, a max speed Porygon Z. Uh, I will calc that just to be sure. Uh, now I know Porygon Z obviously has the Z conversion, so like, I won't outspeed him. Uh, I believe if I bring you down, you go to 6, yeah, so I have to bring 308. Um, this set is really, really good. Now we don't have a U-turn unfortunately, but I needed to be able to hit everything on his team really, really well. So Fire Blast is there to hit things like the Beedrill, uh, which I will never hit, but I'll, more importantly the Bulu, it hits the Bulu really hard. Also the Crabominable, if you want to count that, you, know, you obviously can. Earth Power is there to hit a lot of things, it hits the Victini, it hits the Raikou, it hits the Empoleon, hits the Rhydon if we don't want to play around it. Um, really, really nice move. Uh, Draco is there for basically anything else, if we need, we need to one-shot the Flygon coming in, which will never happen. Um, if we need to just do a ton to like Raikou, but we don't want to go for Earth Power or something like that, something weird. Um, Draco is there basically for that. Uh, Draco is there more for the Licky Licky, uh, you know, something that I don't really have super effective hits for. Uh, I just go for Draco and do as much as I can. And Surf is there finally just for just for the ride on. Um, it hits right on really really hard. Um, does about seventy percent, depending on his spread. It, that's if he's max special defense. If he's like less than that, it'll just have one shot, which is really really nice. And um, Hydreigon's really, really important. The Assault Vest is there to wall a special Victini, which I expect to come, and the Raikou. Uh, that's really, really important. Um, it also can take a hit or two from the Porygon, even if it's set up because of the Assault Vest. And uh, also it could take on uh, Miss Magius, even though it might have Dazzling Gleam. Next we have Fury, the Tabu Koko, Choice Scarf, Electric Surge, of Wild Charge, U-Turn, Hidden Power Rise, and Brave Bird. Enough speed to outspeed a Max Speed Victini? Yeah, yeah, Max Speed Victini. Now the reason for this is because Tepu Coco is really good against this team if it's Choice Scarf, basically. Uh, with the Choice Scarf, not only does it outspeed Beedrill, but it also guarantees that I outspeed against Victini, and will outspeed Flygon or Porygon if they get to plus one speed with Dragon Dance or Z Conversion, respectively. Which is why I really, really like this spread. Now, unfortunately, Tepu Coco doesn't hit crazy hard. Um, you know, I can't one-shot Victini with Wild Charge, but it does a ton to Empoleon, it does a ton to Beedrill, it does a ton to Porygon, and um, with uh, we have a Hidden Power Rise there for the Flygon and the uh, Rhydon. Now the thing that I'm very very aware of is that if I do go for Hidden, or sorry, Wild Charge and he does have Flygon, then he can go freely for uh, Dragon Dances. I am aware of this, but I still have to run Choice Scarf. And I mean, if I go on a Seismitoad uh, as he Dragon Dances, I can attack him, and if he kills me, I'm good because I'm still Choice Scarf. I still outspeed him, so I can just go for Hidden Power Rise the next turn, so, which, which is like, I like Choice Scarf a lot. Uh, next we have Rex, also Choice Scarf, Mudo King, uh, Sheer Force, Earthquake, Poison Jam, Head Smash, and Super Power. Now, an offensive, or physically offensive Mudo King this week, uh, simply because um, not only does it um, do better against his team, you know, especially defensive uh, Empoleon takes Earth Powers better than a physically defensive Empoleon takes Earthquakes. Very, very simple. Um, it hits the Flygon better, it hits the Raikou better, Raikou can't Calm Mind up. And, uh, like, if he combines up, we're not screwed. 
um, in, uh, you know, Nido King just comes in and destroys it. Um, now we don't hit Bulu as hard with Poison Jab as we would Sludge Wave, but it still does one shot basically uh, with the adamant nature as well, uh, which is nice. Um, and yeah, Nido King Boing Choice Scarf is very very different from Tapu Koko. Tapu Koko is there to ensure that I outspeed certain mons. Nido King is there to outspeed everything on his team. Um, as long as he doesn't have a Choice Scarf Flygon, or a Choice Scarf Victini, or a Choice Scarf Raikou. Definitely not a Choice Scarf Raikou, I don't see that coming at all. I think, the Mons I think he'll bring, I think he'll bring Victini, Raikou, and Polion guaranteed. I see those three coming no matter what. Um, and then I see maybe Porygon, Rhydon, and then Beedrill or Tapu Bulu. I think he needs some bulk there somewhere. And I think Rhydon kind of fills in roles for Mons like Tapu Koko, even though it has Grass Knot, you know, stuff like that, Torn. It, even though it's grass knot, even like you can take a grass knot from either one of them and just one shot them, which I think is what uh, Master Yen will like a lot. Um, Head Smash is actually really good against his team. It hits the Beedrill super effectively, hits the Teeny super effectively, it hits the uh, Crabominal super effectively, and the only resistance he has to it is the Empoleon, Flygon, and Rhydon, which obviously I don't expect all three of them. Um, he could, but I don't think so. Um, and then uh, Superpower is also good against his team, being able to hit the Empoleon and the Porygon to or Z super effectively, and if the Porygon Z isn't set up, Super Pirate does a ton. Uh, and finally we have Virizion, Focus Sash, Kokiri, Justified with Close Combat, Leaf Blade, Stone Edge, and Swords Dance, enough speed to outspeed a max speed Victini. Um, I believe it's 330, actually I think we're going to make it 330. Uh, let me just check something, this is important. Raikou, 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 if you're modest, you're 329, oh no no, you're 329, okay we can go 330, so that's fine. Uh, now I'm still I'm still back and forth on the focus sash, and we uh, to be honest I might change this just before the game, um, and I am actually I am shit I thought I you were actually a different item. We're gonna go Lumberry so we can swap into uh, Empoleon because as you can see we don't really have a great switch in besides Hydreigon, which doesn't want to take a lot of damage. So Virizion being Lumberry means we get a free swap into Empoleon, and Empoleon can't do anything to us. Close combat Leaf Blade Storage uh, Stone Edge basically hits everything on his team, really really hard. The only monster that speed it, uh, Raikou. Um, Raikou and Beedrill, which Raikou can't one-shot us, and Beedrill is a Beedrill, so it's going to one-shot us no matter what. Um, but, you know, it, it is what it is. Um, Beedrill's a mana I go back and forth on coming, because Scizor walls it completely, but it's also a good U-turn into Victini. So, we'll have to see what happens with that. Um, I don't know how it'll go, but Lumberry I know is, like, absolutely needed. And finally, we have Slebby the Seismitoad, Rindoberry, Water Absorb with Stealth Rock, Earthquake, Ice Punch, and Scald. Uh, enough... Um, enough defense to take hits uh, well from the uh, Flygon while also taking hits well from the uh, Victini. Uh, I believe a Grass Knot from a Choice Specs. Uh, uh, Victini can't one shot us. Uh, and Earthquake does a ton back. Scald, I know we have the minus uh, special attack nature. Scald is just, just for the ride on. It's the only man it's there for. Possibly the Crabominal as well, but like I said, I don't think it's Crabominal coming. Uh, Ice Punch is there for the Flygon. It actually one shots no matter what, I believe. Um, now, he could run a lot of defense if he's, like, expecting a few things. You know, like, if he's expecting that he'll outspeed some stuff at plus one, then he can um, do that. Basically, if I run a uh, Skull... If I run Ice Punch... Actually, no, I don't think it one-shots, but it does a ton. Yeah, it 82 to 98, which means Scizor's Bullet Punch picks it off afterwards, which is why Scizor is so important. Um, that's really all i got to say about this game. Um, it's going to be really, really tough, um, and Yen is a really, really good player. I mean, sorry, Master Yen. Yeah, I mean, sorry. I mean, champ. I mean, sorry. I mean, Master Yen. And yeah, it's going to be a really fun game. Uh, if you guys are excited, make sure to have you sound the like button down below first and subscribe if you're not already. To become a member of the Agra Knight and uh, follow your Cork City Syndicals. If we win this game and Milotic wins his game, that means the week seven, um, two coaches, me and Milotic, who have, have both never lost in this league so far, will play and someone will get their first loss. And I really, really hope that happens because that'd be like a fucking story fairy tale story so that'd be really cool but uh, other than that i'm gonna st i'm gonna shut up i'm gonna go away i'm gonna get master again and we're gonna play um and yeah brb okay guys we're here so i've been thinking about this for a lot for for a, a little bit because he jumped or Master Yen just had to build for a second. I've been thinking about what my lead is, and it really, really depends on what he, the team he brings. Um, I don't really see Tapu Bulu coming, because it doesn't really do well against, like, half the mons on my team. 
like not just half the mons in D6 like half the mons in my like 11 I think like it, it loses to like a lot of them um, it's just it's still really strong and something dies every time uh, it comes in most of the time shit <laughs> not, a, not a random battle um, so yeah we're just gonna challenge into a random uh, custom game student versus the master really hope you win but we'll see what happens I need to see what he brings I think if he doesn't bring Beedrill, I'll be kind of happy. But I'm not. I'm expecting it to come. So he's going to bring Beedrill. He's going to bring Raikou Victini. Hopefully not Porygon and Flygon. Because I could deal with one of them. I, I don't think I could deal with both. I don't think I could deal with both. Also, I need to find out what the Porygon... Uh, what his type changes into. Because that could also be a really, really important um, factor in this. With the conversion. If he changes to an electric type, we might have a bit of issue. Um, we'll see. So he does bring Raikou. He doesn't bring Porygon. And he doesn't bring Bulu. He doesn't even bring Empoleon. And he brings <laughs> all shinies. All shinies. Oh my god, that's funny. That's funny. Good luck, have fun, man. Um, he does bring the Beedrill. He brings the Flygon. Like I said, Flygon is still outsped by Tapu Koko at plus one. So as long as it doesn't get to plus two, we're kind of good. Um, so I think Leeds, I've really thought about this a lot. He didn't bring Empoleon, so kind of max out one. So my thing is, right, his Leeds, I think, is either Rhydon, Beedrill. See, I believe it's Scizor, right? The only bad lead that would be then would be Victini, but that would be so bad. Like, that would be so freaking bad. So, I think I'm going to leave with Tapu Koko. No, I could also leave with Hydreigon. And just attack. But if he leaves with Beedrill, I'm in the same situation. Then I have to go into Scizor. And, you know, no, I can't do that. I really can't do that. I think I'm going to leave with Tapu Koko. I think I'm going to leave with Tapu Koko. I think I'm going to leave with Tapu Koko. Do I leave with Tapu Koko? See if he leads if he leads it right on. Um I think I'm gonna leave with Scissor. I don't think I'll leave with Victini because Miley would more than likely be Seismitoad. So I don't think I think he's gonna lead with the that Beedro. Or the Licky Licky. He just it's Flygon. So it's important. Your choice bandas. Not specs, Jesus. If you're banded with Fire Punch. See, I think it's too obvious me just doubling into Seismitoad. I really do. I think it'll go for a U turn. Out of curiosity. Fire Punch can one shot. If he's banded. If he's banded. Um. <sighs> 37% chance. Do I think he's banded? And I also, I also think he'll U-turn. So I really want to just stay in. Fuck it. Goes for fire punch. He doesn't kill. No burn. So cool. All right. Okay. So Scizor takes a huge hit right there. But. Pretty necessary. We're gonna go on a seismitoad and we're gonna be able to find out right here if the Flygon is Scarf. It's not banded. We know it's not banded because he didn't do as much to Scizor as I assumed he would. His switch into this thing is I think the the Licky Licky. So I could double back no, he'll go for U-turn. He'll go for U-turn right here, so I have to just put up my rocks. I have to just put up my rocks. He does go for U-turn. I expect the Licky Licky, as he does go into Licky Licky. And, um... I'm going to go into... I think Scizor. Goes for Hidden Power Grass. Which is huge. Uh, I want to Roost, but I also want a U-Turn. Um... And I pretty much, basically, I definitely outspeed this thing. So I, I really want to go for U-Turn. And if, 
if he stays in, I could pretty much just go into Verizion. So I think I'm going to U-turn. Because if he goes into Victini right now, I'm in a lot of trouble. Would he though? Because uh, my rocks are up. My rocks are up. Like, Victini is not safe for him right now. Victini is not safe for him at all. But it would be a really good switch into this thing. If I go Super Power and he goes into Beedrill, I'm kind of fine. See, if I roost, right? If I roost and he goes into Victini, what do I do? What do I do then? I can't let that happen. I'm going to U-turn. He's going to stay in, I know that, but I can't let the Victini come in for free. So what I'm going to do right here, I'm going to U-turn. He does stay in. So that's Hidden Power Grass, we know this. We know it's Hidden Power Grass. I think I'm going to go into my Verizion. I could also go into Coco. But I am going to go into Verizion. Uh, I could also go in. I uh, don't Coco's pretty. Coco's pretty free. But I'm going to go into Verizion. Because your flamethrower. No burn. <laughs> I was kind of fearing a burn for a second. Um, so right here, uh, I think the B drill is going to come in, to be honest. Um, I really... Th I, or the Victini. The thing is about th that, they have to take rocks damage. So I think I'm just going to go straight for close combat. They have to take rocks damage, or he goes in a Raikou. If this thing stays in, I think it dies. Unless he's really, really fat. He goes for Protect. If I Swords Dance right there, which I was very, very close to. I was very close to Swords Dancing, because I didn't think he would go into these two. But I am just going to go straight for the close combat, I think. Uh, if he goes in a Beedra, like, he still takes rocks. Which is important. Could also go for Stone Edge. I also, I also think he's going to stay in. He just, he just going to Flygon, which Flygon's going to die right here. Flygon is going to go down, which is huge, because I'm really scared of Flygon. So he's going to be able to go into his Victini or Beedrill right here. I assume it's going to be the Beedrill. I, I really assume it's going to be the Beedrill. Uh, if it's the Victini, I mean, he's basically Scarf. I mean, he's guaranteed Scarf then. I need to keep Verizion alive because it beats Rhydon plus Licky Licky Core, which is something that nothing really on my team uh, does as well. Uh, Nido King to a certain extent, but now that Licky Licky, I thought Licky Licky might come because it is a decent matchup against my team, which is why Verizion, I felt, needed to come. I felt it needed to come. It came all over me. And you see how important... Um, you see how important uh, initiative is right there. Um, if I did Roost with Scizor, Flamethrower probably would have done the amount that I gained back. Because it did 27% of Rizion, which is much specially bulkier than Scizor. Although Scizor is specially defensive, so I, I, actually that might not be exactly true. But it would have done basically the damage I got back with Roost. So, I wasn't about to let that happen. Um, I think the Beedrill or the uh, Victini is going to come in here. He's going to go... V for Vendetta. Um, my rocks are up. My rocks are up. So, I'm kind of like not really bothered keeping Seismitoad alive. It's good for, like, fly it was meant to wall Flygon. It's good for walling Rhydon as well. Um, the only thing is, right, if he goes for Grass Knot right here. Hmm. So he could go for Grass Knot. I think he is special. I think he's going for, like, a Psychic-type move. So I could go on a Hydreigon. Um, I could go on a Hydreigon. Um, the only thing is about Hydreigon is that uh, if he... Sorry, no. I Actually, I have Hydreigon set over here. Hydreigon, if he goes for uh, a U-turn, I'm in a bit of trouble. I mean, he could very, very easily go for a U-turn. Uh, it does have a lot of investment into stuff. U-turn, do a lot. It would do a lot of damage. It would do a lot of damage. But I do think he's special. And I think he's going to go for either Grass Knot. I don't think he's going to go for a Fire-type move. He could go for a Psychic-type move. But I think I'm... Hydreigon isn't great either. Like It's just kind of there. I'm going to go on Hydreigon. He, I think he's going to click U-turn right here. He goes for Psychic. <sighs> I did think he was going to be special. 
Now the only thing is right here, right? We don't outspeed this thing. So he will find out right here if he's choiced. Um, I think right here I'm going to go for uh, Draco. Because I think the Lickitung is going to come in. And I just want to get tons of damage off on that thing. If he U-turns, you know, I'm going to go for Draco. He does swap out. He does go on a Rhydon, so I wish I surfed. But I do land the Draco, and I do a decent amount of damage. Um, I could just stay in. See, the reason I don't want to stay in is because Raikou could set up uh, in on, in my face. So I'm going to go into Seismitoad. Is that predictable? Possibly, but if the Victini is specially offensive, it can't kill me with Grass Knot because I have the Rindo Berry. So I'm going to go into Seismitoad. As predictable as that is, it is the right play. The right play is going into Seismitoad right here. Uh, I'm really, really happy I got that play pretty much perfect. I didn't think he would go for Psychic, but I thought it was pretty good against my team. And I thought, he, I thought he'd go for it. I, I, I did. So he, he does, um, doesn't does U-turn, which either means he's scared of me being Choice Scarf, or he's scared of... Uh, or he's Choice. He's scared of Hydreigon being Choice Scarf, or he's uh, Choice in some way. Now, he, if he's Choice Scarf... Okay, so that's where first come in. He does that double out. He goes on a Raikou. And I believe Raikou doesn't die. Don't get me, don't get me wrong. It doesn't die. Uh, I don't know what he was expecting there. Maybe he did expect the... Uh, maybe this is the uh, situation he wanted. Seismitoad has a lot of investment. A lot of investment in... Uh... Actually, we don't even need the special investment. We do have it. So we'll actually take it better than this calc tells us. So I'm going to go straight for the Earthquake. We pop the Rindo Berry. That looks to be Choice Specs. Earthquake barely misses out the KO, but he does die upon re-entry of Rocks. So I'm going to stay in. Um, and I'm going to go on a Tapu Koko. The reason being is because we get the U-turn off, but we don't show that we're Choice Scarf. Unless he's Choice Scarf. I don't think he is. Uh, Seismodoge goes down. But we are good. Uh, and we do kill the Raikou, which was one of the biggest threats on his team, in my opinion. So I'm going to go for U-turn. I'm going to go for U-turn. And if he swaps out, I mean, we get initiative. If he stays in, this thing's dead. This thing's guaranteed dead. Now, the good thing is, if he's not Choice Scarf, he won't know that we're Choice Scarf. But see, I can't, I don't know what this set is. To be fair, he did 52%. That looks to be Choice Specs. Yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty certain that's Choice Specs. He does double out into Rhydon. Which can... Hmm. Surf? Assume Surf will kill. A Surf plus a Draco might be able to kill the Licky Licky, but I'm not sure about that, to be honest. Um, he does let the Raikou live, though, so that's interesting. So we go into Hydreigon right here. I'm going to go for Surf. We could go for Earth Power if we really think he'll swap out, but I think he might stay in. I think he will go into Licky Licky, though. And I mean, if he swaps out, I mean, what is he going to he goes in a Sparks to Raikou, so he just let Raikou die. Okay. I think he's going to go in a Beedrill right here. And I think I let Hydreigon die if he goes in a Beedrill. He goes in a Victini. So we're Assault Vest. We should be able to take the hit that he wants to go for. If he goes for U-Turn, I could go for Draco, but I think uh, Earth Power... Actually, I think Earth Power... Uh, or fucking what it's called. Draco Meteor does do more. Yeah, we're not that. We're like 140 or something. Victini, who I am assuming is uh, not banded, but Choice Scarf. I think it actually is Choice Scarf as well because it, he swapped out. Or sorry, he um, he went for a special move. So Draco Meteor does kill from this range. Earth Power does as well. So I'm going to go for Earth Power. We do take it because of the Assault Vest. And we do kill the Victini. So, right here, Scizor is really, really good against the rest of his team. And in comes Vespa. In comes Vespa. Um, I'm just... I could swap out on a Nidoking, predicting... 
I could go on a Nido King predicting something. Uh, actually, that's not a bad play because he's not going for. Um, there's no way in hell he's going for Drill Run right here. And if he does, if he does, we could be in a bit of trouble. But that might be a risk I'm willing to take. A Mega Beedrill. U turn will do an absolute ton. And he's he's adamant as well. So it'll actually do more than this calc says. But if he. But Hydreigon, it doesn't. I don't care about Hydreigon. It doesn't need to be alive. I'm going to go for Fire Blast. He does stay in and he does go for Fell Stinger. His attack dro uh, rose dramatically. And we're going to go into uh, Nido King. That's a pretty cool set. I don't think it'll matter right here. Because uh, we're Choice Scarf. We're Choice Scarf, not Bandit. Can Earthquake kill? Uh, absolutely. Um, now we're going to go for Earthquake. Swaps out, that's cool. Uh, Scizor's still alive. Um, so I can take a hit. If he stays in, he dies. Verizion, if this Beedrill dies, Verizion will sweep the rest of his team. Which is what I'm hoping for. Uh, he goes for knockoff. I'm sorry about that. Uh, I really thought the Nido King would outspeed. Um, I don't know what I was thinking. So, do we go for Brave Bird? Okay, so let me think about this for a second here. I don't want to go on a Scizor just yet. I mean, I probably should have, but his attack is rose. So, see, okay, right here, right? He knows I'm Choice Scarf, and he knows I'm going to go for Wild Charge. So, I mean, right on seems like the perfect play to me. Uh, I think I'm going to go for a U-turn. Now. If he stays in, I'll go in a Scizor. But I don't think he'll stay in. He could stay in, though, because it doesn't really do anything else for my team. Although it beats Tapu Koko, which he needs. I'm going to go for U-turn. No! No! Alright, we're good. Because of that crit, it actually puts him in range. <sighs> we got very lucky there. We got very lucky there. I'm going to go for Bullet Punch right here. As predictable as it is, I need to go for Bullet Punch. Uh, if he goes in a Licky Licky, um, we can U-turn and maybe go back in a tap of Coco. I don't know. But I need to go for Bullet Punch right here. Bullet Punch will kill this Beedrill. As long as this Beedrill dies... Okay, so doubles out in a ride on, which ride on won't be able to take two, as it doesn't. So we kill the ride on, and in comes the licky licky. In comes Panzer the licky licky. So I'm gonna go for U turn, and I'm gonna go into Tapu Koko. Um. No, I'm going to go into Verizion. See, he's going to go for Wish right here. Is it GG? I don't know if it is. I mean, I'm going to go into Tapu Koko. No burn. He actually... Oh, no, he goes for Flamethrower. So... He goes for uh, he goes for Protect, as he should. Trying to get as much health as back as he can. Oh, the electricity disappears. He's going to live because of that. But he goes for Flamethrower. Uh, no burn. If he went for Wish there, he might have won. If he went for Wish there, he might have won. See, if he goes for Protect here, if he goes for Protect here and gets the Protect... Don't. Yes, we do kill that. And at this point, Scissor does kill with Billa Punch, so in, in some reality, if we don't kill right here... Uh, or he outspeeds for weird reason. We do kill the fucking Beedrill! We do kill 
That's right! Cork City Cynicals 6 and 0! Oh. <sighs> Holy shit, I'm so hyped! That's fucking right! Woo! <sighs> wow! Yes! <sighs> now, I know I should have gone into Beedrill. I thought Nido King without speed. I thought Nido King without speed and Earthquake. I mean. I mean, maybe if Nido King was is, was jolly, God, if fucking if it was jolly without speed, but it was adamant. I'm such a fucking dunce lord. Yeah, if it was adamant. Oh no. Okay, I scarfed. I I, I, I crept for max speed. Yeah, I crept for max speed adamant. So actually, it does kind of make sense. He was running jolly apparently. So, um, were you jolly, B drill? Were you Jolly Beedrill? I assume he was because I'm just I'm really really happy. I'm really really happy now. If he went for Wish on that turn there with Licky Licky, he could have won. Yeah, he was okay. If you were adamant, Nido King out sped, which is. Why I did that. I was Garf Nilo. Um, yeah, that was well played by him. I really thought that Nilo King would be able to uh, just destroy his team. <sighs> I'm really, really happy that we took that win right there. I'm really, really happy we took that win because I've been actually worrying about this game for a while now. And, um,. He was really sure about Scarf Coco. I actually wasn't going to bring Tab Coco originally, and then I realized if he's Choice Scarf, like it does just tons of work. Um, yeah. <sighs> well, that's the game. That's that's it. We win. We defeat Master Yen, 3-0, and we are now we are still undefeated. We are still fucking undefeated. We are six and zero positive. 21 in the Finney division in the top and the Finney division with the blue uh, column, not column, um, blue line right here. We are 6 0, the positive 21, and I could not be happier. I could not be happier. Um, yeah. That crit on the Beedrill with the Coco's U-turn. I thought that would matter. It didn't end up mattering uh, because yeah, Beedrill, Beedrill is a is a god. Like Beedrill, did Beedrill kill? It killed Hydreigon and it killed Nido King, and then uh, Raikou killed the Seismitoadia. We took the Hidden Power Grass and then killed it, with, or did seventy percent with Earthquake. Yeah, yeah, I had to. Uh, Rindo Berry Seismitoad literally walled half the things on his team, so I had to do that. And I'm glad that I didn't let the Licky Licky pop it in like the first few turns, because that Raikou, I think Raikou would have been a bigger threat if I hadn't dealt with it right there and then. So <sighs> I'm happy about how this game went, uh, considering how scared I was going in and how much I felt that the uh, advantage was in his corner. Um, once I found the right sets and once I found the right mons, I, I was just so thrilled. Um, so, that's the game. Hope you leave Coco and HP Ice. Right, okay, so that makes sense. So he wasn't, okay. Yeah, I was worried about Banded. Yeah, I was, remember the first turn with Scizor, like, if he was Banded that turn, like, ah, that could have really fucking, that could have really fucking messed me up. But, um... Yeah, we're here. We are now 6-0 and with a positive 21 differential. And uh, next week we play uh, Milotic. Now, if Milotic does beat Funk, which you will know next week from the tone of my voice and what I'll say in it, but if Milotic does beat Funk... Also, uh, go uh, go check out Milotic's uh, channel. I won't have it in the description of this game just because he wasn't part of the battle, but go check him out. Uh, he'll have his battle against Funk up as long as they do play. Um... um 
and basically, if Malaric does beat Funk, then me and Malaric will play, and we will both be undefeated. So someone will get their first loss. So, with that being said, I'm so happy to play a hacksless game. That was a pretty hacksless game, to be honest. There was no. I was actually worried that the Licky Licky flamethrowers would burn one of these times, and if it burned my Tapu Koko at the end, I could have lost that game. Uh, or at least it would have made it been in a 1-0 one or something. It would have very, very drastically affected that game. But um, we are now here. We are now 6-0. and And I couldn't be happier. If you guys are excited for more Cork City Syndicals battles. And you are proud members of the Agro Knights. Make sure to heavy slam the like button down below first. And subscribe if you are not already. To become a member of the Agro Knights. With that being said. Have yourselves a wonderful day. I know I will. I'm going to drink so much fucking Pepsi tonight dude. I'm going to fucking drown in it. With that being said. Bye bye.